Hey everybody, Wade Vandermolen here, Director of Sales and Marketing for Stuart Title in the Northern Virginia, Washington, D.C. area. And in today's video, I want to talk about some of the best plugins for WordPress that you're probably not using, but you should use them. Uh, so I only highlighted three in this blog, but there's really, you know, I could probably do 10 or 12 or 15 different great ones that can really enhance your website. Um, obviously, like everybody's website's different, so you don't always need the same ones, but the three that I highlighted today, I think cross over to, to everyone, I mean, who has a WordPress website um, and is looking to get eyes to their site and generate business from it, especially on the real estate side. Uh, that's obviously what, what the end goal is to, uh, you know, lead capture and then convert those people into clients. So first off, one of the best ones is you have to have an SEO plugin, which is search engine optimization, which helps your content get ranked and found online. Well, most people don't know how to make that happen. And that's fine. I remember when I started with my WordPress website, I didn't either. Um, so you got to have some help along the way. And one of the best plugins you can install is WordPress SEO uh, Yoast. So what that is essentially does is it kind of makes it easier for you to figure out how to do certain things um, on the search engine optimization side in terms of uh, keyword strategies, um, pictures, creating alt tags, um, doing a bunch of different things that's going to help your content get found and ranked on Google. Uh, that's obviously very important. Um, so download that plugin. The second one I, I mentioned is one called Tweet Old Post. Uh, of course, you have to have a Twitter account to uh, to use this plugin. So if you don't have a Twitter account, you know you got to have one. Uh, I would recommend doing it because Twitter is fantastic, especially on the real estate side. Because on Facebook, you know you have to, you're linked, right? Friends, friends. On Twitter, you don't. It's uh, you know you're trying you're trying to develop a following, and when your brand, you know you want to develop a following. You don't necessarily need to be linked to everyone, and uh, so a tweet old post is that it'll tweet out your blogs and videos or different posts that you have on your website on your behalf uh, every so often. So you can set it up so that it says, you know, every 24 hours, 48 hours, or once a week, twice a week, whatever, uh, some, from certain blog categories or video categories, uh, things will automatically be sent out. So. I think I have mine set up every 48 hours something goes out on my behalf. But you know what it does? It creates a live link in the in the post, goes out in your Twitter feed, so everyone that's following you will see it. And then all they have to do is click on the on the uh, the link, takes them back to your website, which is where you want them anyway. So it keeps you in front of people, uh, keeps you top of mind, and it drives people back to your site. So it does a lot of different things, um, and where you don't you don't have to do anything. It's uh, it's great. So it's kind of self automated. So download that plugin and use it, uh, it's fantastic. And then the last one I uh, mentioned is one called Google Authorship uh, Free in Search Results. So what that allows you to do is link your Google Plus account. If you don't have a Google Plus account, get one. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, you can also have a Google Plus account. Uh, and it will take your profile picture in Google Plus and it'll cause it to have your headshot show up in the search results on Google. Again, Google Plus, Google search results. This does not apply for Yahoo and Bing and all of that because those are totally different search engines, right? So Google kind of sets the standard, so we want to make sure we're playing by their rules and uh, so do that because people that have their headshot next to search results definitely get way more page clicks than people that don't. So it doesn't. you don't necessarily have to be number one on Google for everything. What if you're three, four, or five, but you're the only one with a headshot on there? You're probably going to get more of a plate of a page up uh, sorry, page click than your competitors because it allows the person on the other end of the computer to immediately identify with who it is they're going to be reading about and what you look like. So, and that of course turns into more people on your website. So, WordPress SEO we host, tweet old post, and Google authorship uh, in head search results. So if you're a real estate agent, Northern Virginia, Washington, DC area, or anywhere in the country, you're a title rep anywhere in the country, because I'm getting a lot of calls from title reps recently, uh, give me a call. I'm here to help. Uh, I can assist. If you're local, of course, I can really assist with your real estate marketing. We'd love to earn your business at Stewart Title. Uh, if your current title company is not really doing anything to help you grow, right? They're just kind of taking your deals and working up a HUD and answering the phone. I mean, those are kind of like job description, basic stuff. What are they doing beyond that, right? So think about that. What are they doing beyond that's gonna help you grow? We can offer you a lot of different things besides good service that's gonna allow you to put more deals in the pipe, which is what we all want. So anyway, follow me on Twitter, at DC Title Guy. Subscribe to my blog in the top right-hand corner. Also subscribe to my videos. 
over here and uh, you can get everything in your inbox. You don't have to keep checking back to the site. So Wade Vandermolen, Stuart Title, that's today's video blog and uh, make it a good one.